This morning in our series on the money, we're going to talk about how to achieve financial fitness in 2024. We're laying out some money resolutions and how to reach them. And here to help us, Sharon Epperson, CNBC senior personal finance correspondent. Sharon, good to see you. Good to be here. All right. Well, OK, let's first of all start with your first tip. You say schedule weekly visits with your money. Hello, money. Exactly. <laughs> you have to say that because a lot of people don't know where their money is. They don't know how it's coming in, where it's going, what accounts it's going to. Right. Schedule a time in your calendar. Put it on your phone same day, same time, mm -hmm. every week, at least for this month, to try to figure out where your money is. Review right. all your accounts, checking savings, your retirement accounts, college savings accounts, your mortgage, everything, so that you know where those accounts are and what's going in and how much money is coming out. And you say compare take-home pay and spending in your savings. Because your take-home pay at the start of the year may be different than it was at the end of last year mm. because of what some of the deductions are that you may have, because of your tax situation, if that's right. changed. You really want to know your take-home pay and pay attention to how much you're saving and how much you're spending. Okay. All right. So after we visited with our money, uh, <laughs> okay. you say that we should set achievable goals to grow our money. How exactly. do we do that? Exactly. People say things like, I want to pay down debt. I want to save more money. No. Be strategic about what you want to do. I want to save $20 a week, or I want to save, I want to pay down this part of this credit card at least for this a month. Be specific. So be specific about what you want to do. Well-defined task. And then also you want to put away small sums. I'm saying put away the money to save before you're thinking about debt, because then you're just going to take on more debt. So save small sums. And then you have to have patience. This is not something that's going to be a quick fix that's going to happen just in the month of January. Yeah. It may take you all year. It may take you five years. But you're setting these strategic goals, small tasks that you can complete. All right, let's talk about one more here yeah. because we've heard a lot over the last few months, especially since the Fed started raising the interest rates, right. high yield savings accounts. Is this the time to do it? This is the time to do it because now the Fed has kind of indicated maybe they won't continue to raise rates, so you may not get the 5% interest that's available right now on some online banks. So you want to put money into a high yield savings account now, at least three months worth of your expenses for your emergency fund. That may seem like a lot. Again, small goals. Start with one month. At least figure out how much you need for one month yeah. and then start to put that away. And maybe you might need 12 months if you're retired. The other thing to think about is putting that money away for costs that may come up this year. You know that you're going to have to do a renovation in some part of your house. You know that you're going to have to put away some money for college tuition, maybe even besides the 529 plan if you have one for college savings. So use the money for that too. It's not just for your emergency fund. It's for some of those goals that you have that you know you're going to have to spend on, yeah. but you're putting one, money away now to make sure you'll be able to, to make that. Okay. All right. Well, All speaking right. of spending, let's talk about being intentional with our spending. This weekend I was cleaning out my closet and I found sweaters that I've never worn that it's I'm a, donating. It's the thinking, key it's the key question, Chanel. Do I need do this? Need do it? I need this? Yeah. Does it give me joy? Yeah. And most importantly, can I afford it? If you ask yourself those three questions with everything you purchase, there's a lot of stuff that you're going to leave just, in that cart. Yeah. And you're never going to buy it. <laughs> Somebody said the other day, really, just leave it and wait leave for, it a for a moment. Just wait. Just wait. Week. Yeah, just That's wait. Good. Just wait. What's the word on debt? I mean, in some ways, I know it seems like the big bad wolf, but you can use it wisely. You have to use it wisely. And the first place to start is to know what you owe. Right. Uh, make sure that you understand that. But if there's smart debt, okay, you want to buy a house, you need a mortgage, you're going to have right. to get some debt. S school loans, that's going to have to happen. But read the fine print. Know what the interest rate is, but know what the fees are. Know what the repercussions are if you don't pay on time. Right. And if you have credit card debt, look for a low interest or better yet, a zero interest credit card. At least give you that promotion for 12, 18, maybe even 21 months so you don't have to pay interest on it. It can make a and big again, difference. It can make a huge difference <clears throat> yeah. and start to pay that off. And if you can't qualify for that, consolidating your debt with a personal loan, sometimes you can get rates as low as 11%. So you so. take all of your debt and put it in one payment. And put it one payment. Again, okay. this is something to strategize so that you're doing achievable goals and you're putting all your accounts and your money together. Okay. All right. This bring us home, Dylan. Sharon, seem a little overwhelming to do this all alone. And you say, just find a buddy. Find a buddy. Find an accountability partner. My AP you know, you go to that person for everything. I ask my financial advisor, anything that's over about $5,000, maybe mm -hmm. I should just say $1,000, let me be real. I'm going to ask, do I need this? Do you, does this make sense? If it's a purchase that I do need, ha brings me joy and I can mm -hmm. afford, he will say yes, and if not, probably no. So if you don't have a financial advisor, there can be a family member, a friend, mm -hmm. someone that you can talk to about your money. You talk about so many things with your friends. Mm -hmm. How about your money? Make it someone that you can trust and review your objectives and make sure Sure that you're on the same page about what and you want to achieve. That emotional attachment yeah. that you exactly. do. Exactly. Yeah. That's That's Sharon, thank you so much. Yeah. So yeah. Sure. New Year's advice. Thanks so much. Yeah. For more advice from Sharon and help you stick to your budgeting, saving, and investing goals, and 
get her free Money 101 newsletter, go to today.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.